ओके द सेकंड कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी इज अ एलिवेशन इन बॉइलिंग पॉइंट और इट इज आल्सो नोन एज द एबिलियोस्कोपिक कांस्टेंट सो हियर बॉइलिंग पॉइंट बॉइलिंग पॉइंट मींस द टेंपरेचर द टेंपरेचर एट व्हिच वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ लिक्विड वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ लिक्विड बिकम्स इक्वल टू एटमॉस्फेरिक प्रेशर एटमॉस्फेरिक प्रेशर इज नोन एज द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट सो बॉइलिंग पॉइंट मींस व्हाट the temperature at which the vapor pressure of liquid becomes equal to atmospheric pressure is known as the boiling point so usually the vapor pressure of pure solvent is greater than the solution that we know so vapor pressure of here only to take vapor pressure of pure solvent pure solvent is a greater than vapor pressure of a solution okay so next one is a elevation in boiling point elevation in boiling point means the difference between the vapor pressure of uh, sorry the difference between boiling point of solution and the solvent is known as the elevation in boiling point okay the difference between boiling point of a solution and a solvent so the boiling point of the solution and the solvent is known as the elevation in boiling point so that elevation in boiling point we can determine from this graphical representation now here on x axis you can take the temperature on y axis uh, you can take the pressure now this is for the solvent solution 1 and solution 2 so at a p not pressure means uh, not indicate the pure form of the pressure pure form of the pressure for only solvent so p not indicates vapor pressure of the pure solvent p1 indicates uh, vapor pressure of the solution 1 and p2 indicates vapor pressure of the solution 2 and next one t naught is the vapor pressure of the pure solvent at a temperature t naught and t1 is the temperature t1 and uh, t2 is the temperature at which the pressure is the p2 and here you get the b e f k and uh, l so here delta t b so t means temperature and uh, b means boiling point delta t b is called change in a boiling point of the temperature is equal to t b minus t b naught here t b indicates a boiling point of the solution minus boiling point of the pure solvent so not indicates what pure solvent and tb indicates so boiling point of the solution now here from this graphical representation you can take the be okay be by bk is equal to ef by kl so be indicates what b is the p naught and e indicates p1 so in place of be we can write p naught minus p1 okay p naught minus p1 by and bk b is the p naught and k is the p2 means uh, p naught minus p2 and it is also equal to ef so here e is what t naught and f is equal to what t1 so means uh, t naught minus t1 by t naught minus t2 so kl indicates what t naught minus t2 now here p naught minus p 
or P0 minus P2 is the change in pressure. So change in pressure is directly proportional to what? Change in temperature. So according to Raoult's law, according to Raoult's law, so change in pressure means relative lowering of vapor pressure is directly proportional to mole fraction of the solute. Mole fraction of the solute. Now del delta P is directly proportional to mole fraction of the solute. In the similar way, we can take a delta T is also directly proportional to mole fraction of the solute. And if you remove this proportionality, we can get the one constant delta Tb is equal Kb into mole fraction of the solute. And this equation you have to remember. Okay, delta Tb is equal Kb into mole fraction of the solute. And here Kb, here Kb is a proportionality constant proportionality constant and um, it is also known as the ebullioscopic constant and kb value for water is kb value for water is a uh, 0.52 and this Kb value is depends upon the nature of solute. So it is depends upon what? Nature of the solute. And from a thermodynamics laws, from thermodynamic law, Kb is equal to Rt0 square by change in enthalpy of vaporization and here change in enthalpy of vaporization is equal to molar heat of vaporization molar heat of vaporization now here r indicates universal gas constant and t not indicates temperature at a zero conditions delta h which get change in enthalpy of vaporization that is the molar heat of vaporization now delta tb now you can substitute this uh, equation in this uh, equation for example it is the equation one and uh, this is the equation two substitute the equation two in equation one then what we can get delta tb is equal to Kb indicates what? R T naught square by change in enthalpy of vaporization into mole fraction of the solute. And we know that mole fraction of the solute is equal to what? Number of moles of solute by number of moles of the solvent. Directly you can take for the dilute solutions. So for dilute solution, number of moles of uh, solute in denominator side is the negligible. Now, you can substitute this equation in this one. Delta Tb is equal to Rt0 square by change in uh, enthalpy of vaporization into number of moles of uh, solute by number of moles of the solvent so next one is a uh, we know that uh, number of moles of the solute is weight of the solute by gram molecular weight of the solute into molecular weight of the solvent by weight of the solvent now we can substitute this uh, equation in this one then what we can get a uh, delta tb is equal to R T naught square by change in enthalpy of vaporization into WB by MB into MA by WA. Now from this one here delta a change in enthalpy of vaporization is equal to weight into latent heat of vaporization here lv is equal to what latent heat of 
vaporization so again we will see so delta tb is equal to r t naught square by so in place of o, del change in enthalpy of vaporization is equal to m into lv you can take so m weight into latent heat of vaporization into wb by mb into ma by wa so this one and this one get cancelled then we can get a delta tb is equal to r t naught square by lv into wb by mb into 1 by wa for one molar solution for one molar solution wb by mb is equal to 1 and uh, wa is equal to 1000 grams then what we can get delta tb is equal to r t naught square by latent heat of into 1 into 1 by 1000 now relationship between uh, ebullioscopic constant and molality is delta tb is equal to kb into m so this equation you have to remember delta tb is equal to kb into m Next, delta TB is equal to KB into. So, molality is the, what is the molality definition? The number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of the solvent. So, according to that, we can take a delta TB is equal to WB by MB into MA by W A. Then from this one we can get the M B is equal to K B into W B into M A by delta T B into W A. Or this equation also we can take. mb is equal to 1000 into wb into kb by delta tb into wa this is the equation is useful to calculate the molecular weight of the solute from the elevation in boiling point and here if you observe the units uh, sometimes they will ask the units of this uh, heliocopic constant the units are kelvins kg mole inverse so these are the units of the heliocopic constant and this heliocopic constant so it depends on it depends on nature of solute nature of the solute okay so this is about the elevation in boiling point so in this one some important equations are there that is the delta tb is equal to kb into mole fraction of the solute and next one delta tb is equal to kb into m and next one the mb is equal to 1000 into wb into kb by delta tb into wa so this is about the elevation in boiling point and next uh, third one is uh, depression in freezing point or cryoscopic uh, constant so here uh, freezing point freezing point means the temperature at which solid form of liquid is separates from the liquid is known as the freezing point for example if we keep the some water in the deep fridge think that to convert that uh, liquid into ice it takes uh, one hour but after uh, half an hour if you observe the solution 
or if you observe the water in the deep fridge that is somewhat semi liquid state means at that temperature the solid form of liquid is uh, separates from the liquid means after that uh, point the solid form of liquid is uh, con separating from the liquid that point is known as the freezing point so freezing point means what the temperature at which solid form of liquid separate from the liquid so the temperature at which the solid form of liquid separate from the liquid is known as the freezing point and here you have to remember the freezing point of solvent is always greater than the freezing point of the solution but in case of the ebullioscopic constant boiling point of the solution is greater than the boiling point of the solvent okay and next one uh, at the freezing point the solids and the liquids are in equilibrium okay here you can take at freezing point the solids and uh, liquids are in equilibrium okay the freezing point of the solvent is greater than the freezing point of the solution and this one also we can get uh, from the graphical representation that you can see here same p0 p1 p2 uh, t0 t1 and t2 here o b c e f you can take and at uh, the o solvent b c you can take the solution one e f you can take the solution two so from the triangles of the o b c and o e f so here o c o c by o f is equal to b c by EF. So here O C is equal to what? O is the P naught and C is equal to P1. Means here also same P naught minus P1 by P naught minus P2. That is the O F. O is the P naught and F is the P2. And B C. So B is what? Uh, T1 and C is the T naught. You can take the C B also. So T naught minus T1 by T naught minus T2. So already you know that. So according to Raoult's law. Uh, change in pressure is directly proportional to mole fraction of the solute. Or it is also change in temperature is also directly proportional to mole fraction of the solute and here delta t f so in last session we discussed delta t b b indicates uh, boiling point here f indicates freezing point delta t f is equal to, here we can get the k f into mole fraction of the solute and here k f is what cryoscopic constant cryoscopic constant now from thermodynamics loss same similar to elevation in a boiling point from thermodynamics thermodynamics loss kf is equal to r t naught square by delta hf then substitute this value in this uh, equation Okay. then here what we can get delta t f is equal to r t naught square by delta h f into mole fraction of the solute and we know the mole fraction of the solute equation delta t f is equal to r t naught square by delta h f into 
weight of the solute by molecular weight of the solute into molecular weight of the solvent by weight of the solvent now here delta hf is equal to m into latent heat of a fusion then uh, delta tf is equal to rt naught square by m into lf into by m b into m a by w a and this and this we get cancelled then we can get the delta delta t f is equal to r t naught square by l f into w b by m b into 1 by w a next for one molar solution for one molar solution wb by mb is equal to 1 then uh, weight of the solvent is a uh, thousand grams Now here then what we can get delta Tf is equal to R T naught square into 1 into 1 by Lf into 1000 we can get then the relationship between uh, the relationship between the delta Tf and Kf is the relationship between delta tf and kf is a delta tf is equal kf into molality small m is the molality and delta tf is equal kf into wb by mb into 1 by 1000 or from this only you can get mb is equal to kf into wb into 1000 by delta tf into wa so these are the equations useful to calculate the molecular weight of the solute and the molecular weight of the solute by using the depression freezing point is calculated by rust method which method rust method is useful to calculate the molecular weight and here concentration is inversely proportional to freezing point of this one and if you observe the units for this one same kelvins kz mole inverse okay this is about the depression the freezing point of the solution